Welcome back. So, Janet, <laughs> going around the table Perfect. to party. Yeah. Let's, let's begin with those young men. Right. Okay. Yes. The first one goes in there, mm -hmm. piles his plate mm -hmm. with bread. Yes. Or whatever it is he put there. Yeah. Now, you said that's wrong. So you yeah. tell us what's right. right. The other guy goes, takes a flat plate, gets, <laughs> I mean, he's adding a bit of finesse, you know, gets yeah. one piece of bread, and then gets soup. Hmm. <laughs> what, you Let's know not go ask me the man of eating. <laughs> Janet, soup can mean two different things. Soup mm. in Nigeria mm. is obe. Yeah. Okay. And soup is the soup that you actually put in a bowl and you drink. Right. Not deep. Not the one that. Uh, not deep. Not deep your bread. No, not, my, our friend here was eating rice, uh, bread and stew. <laughs> like, yeah, like yes, it, exactly. Know. That was what he was doing. He was dunking, and dunking yeah. is actually it's um, poor manners, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look at the real layout. You know, when it comes to buffet, to be honest, it's set so that you can actually attempt to try different dishes that you have never tried before. Mm. It really is set to whet your appetite. So. You're supposed to go there. I have a philosophy, and I always say it. Dining is like dancing. Take it one step at a time. Learn to taste your food, not just chew it. All right? So when you have that in mind, you know that um, with buffet, you can have a two-course, three-course, five-course, or seven-course meal. The choice is yours. But you can't start with dessert. Okay, so the protocol means you literally have to start properly. So looking at those men, fine, fair enough, he took bread. But, you know, bread is really not supposed to be taken by itself. It's supposed to be taken. So if it's breakfast, you know, you could take your bread or your toast along with your meal. If it's lunch, you're likely going to start. So we have an appetizer just to whet your appetite. We have a starter. We have the main meal, which some people call the entree. And, of course, we have the dessert. So the other guy goes straight for bread and soup. Fair enough, because I think they're having lunch here. Um, starter is what we should start with. Soup and bread. Or what you salad and bread. In a bowl. But the truth is, remember, even your starter, the size of the plate matters. So you're having soup or you're having salad. So salad, is, please don't take the dinner plate for your salad. There are smaller plates, usually placed beside the salad, actually, or the soup. So salad is a small, round plate, okay? But soup usually is the soup bowl. So we saw him Deeper. take... Okay, he took his side bread plate, quite on a side plate, yeah. but he needed to have taken his soup in a soup bowl, right? Because guess what? It's going to pour all over the place, which it did. And we need to be careful and mindful of what is a starter, what is the salad, I mean, what is an appetizer, and what is the main meal, all right, okay. to start with. And but did you see how he threw his tie behind Yes! Yeah. So it doesn't dip into it, but no, you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more on, uh, I think next week we'll have more on dining decorum. But right now we're talking about how to navigate the buffet table. Okay. Okay. And it's like, you need to make sure that you're not going to take food to waste, even if you're paying for it. Mm, Let's mm. be mindful of where we are so we don't waste food. Yeah. So they've started off quite all right, but they barely sat down, and before you knew it, they were already rushing to the table. Most times, you can order your drink first, whether it's tea, coffee, or juice, or the drink that you really want, but always sit down and place your napkin first. Maybe you have, like... You have someone coming, sit down, have a word or two before you now say, okay, let's go to the table and eat, you know. And looking at the bread, bread is likely going to choke your stomach because by the time you eat so many types of bread from the bread basket, there really would be hardly enough room for you to, unless you're really that hungry. <laughs> and that's where the indulgence comes in. <laughs> well, the first guy looked rather hungry, so yeah. I'm sure he will still have space for the main course. Yeah, he will, but let's watch and see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, pull back a bit. Yeah. When you come into a buffet area, for a buffet, mm -hmm. where do you start? Good. You must normally start from the beginning. There's, there's always a beginning and an end to a buffet setting. And usually the buffet setting starts with cold salads, with a small plate, or soup. So some people walk in and say, okay, I like something hot. But guess what? Because it's buffet, you can actually have both. So you can start with some warm soup, 
and usually there may be different types some for vegetarians some with meat or some with fish so you can take your soup and you must um, and if you like take the bread to go with it it's not compulsory okay. and then we you have, go for cold salad we have a phone call from okay. George. George from Alabado hello George okay Hello, Judge. Hello. Yeah, hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Can you turn down the volume of your TV set, please? Okay, it's already down. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, my question is about um, the great code. You know, not necessarily about the food and the way to take the food. You know, ideally, one would think, you know, a pocket like that. Oh, well, Judge, uh, we, we can't take that call because of the feedback. Um, Janet, you were saying something about that. Yes. So you, you ideally start with warm or hot soup. And you can go back. You can take that alone. Go back, sit down, enjoy the soup, like I say. Take it one step at a time. With your bread, if you want it, it's not compulsory. Then you may decide to go for the salad. I would say take baby steps when it comes to buffet because you can easily get filled up. Easily. And whether you take the soup alone or you take a whole seven course meal, you're going to pay the same price. That's the truth. <laughs> You are going to pay the same price. So take a bit of salad. And at this point in time, when you're taking salad, you're going for some more, more healthy options, right? So that's why we, take, we start off like that. I mean, some people say, oh, I've got no time for the salad. You know, I'm going to go for the main meal. But you need to be careful. It's really about taking healthy options. Even though you're hungry, why not taste a bit? And even when you're going for your main meal itself, you don't need to take everything. You don't need to take both fish, chicken, beef, lamb, and everything on the same plate. You may decide to just take some rice and some chicken first or some fish and some potato first is it possible, nothing wrong with going back again is it possible for that young man to have just taken just the bread only the bread i mean take one or two types of bread forget the soup and just take your bread and go sit down yeah why not certainly he could have done that you know because it doesn't look as if he was interested in the salad or the soup it was the bread like wow this is a whole range of bread it's fine but ideally the bread basket should be supported by a starter and that salad also basically you know and when you're going for soup and salad as well don't take four loaves of four bread rolls there's no need <laughs> you're gonna get full so quickly one one is enough i wouldn't even say more than that because it's okay it's just to, it's a compliment to the meal <laughs> uh, one is enough because you're a woman <laughs> don't forget that men tend to eat a lot more than but women. don't forget, some people are still going to go for the, the pounded yam and, and all of that. So True. there's a whole lot coming in after, after yeah. that, that, that. But I course. keep saying, yeah. take as much as you can eat, not as you like. Take as much as you can, not as much as you like, because you're going to get full so quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a whole other But people think, ah, let me take my starter and let me mix my starter actually with the dessert in the same plates, which doesn't mean I've seen that happen several times. <laughs> and then you have the entree. And let me take everything and let me take my, my um, fruit salad as well or my dessert, everything at once, because I can't be bothered to come out a second time and it doesn't mm. really look good actually you know the ideal thing i've been to places severally mm -hmm. where people are carrying two three plates just because they think well and sometimes it's not going to it's going to finish by the time they get there but the truth is even if it looks as if it's finished on the table because it's buffet the waiters will replenish they will keep on replenishing the bowls <laughs> i don't know if if we can have the, yeah. the second okay. video of them okay. I don't know if we can get that video now where they went to go and get the right. food. Okay. But while we're waiting for that, Janet, um, I, I like that guy who's, who's dunking. I mean, he, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to really tell you the truth. Um, there was a training I did um, quite a while back. And the reason why I was called by that organization was because one of the executives was representing them outside the country. This was in Nairobi. And he was reported dunking his bread in his soup. And they felt it was an extreme misrepresentation of their organization. And it killed their corporate image. Truth be told. Yeah. Yep. So don't dunk. No, don't, don't dunk. Do Unless in your closet. <laughs> no, and even at soup too, there is a procedure for where we're taking the soup. No, even in your closet. <laughs> Bad no, habits yeah. that yeah. Okay. Whether yeah. it is bread and soup or bread and tea. Don't dunk. <laughs> All right, let's see this video. Right. How our friends are doing. Good. Ladies, we know we like our comfort. 
But did you see those young ladies walk into the restaurant totally inappropriately dressed? One of them is coming from the spa, so she decides that she comes down to the restaurant with her robe. What about the lady wearing her lovely skimpy little shorts? That's an absolute no-no. A young gentleman. Hmm. This looks sumptuous, but can you imagine they're here for a business meeting? When you eat all of that, you're only going to go back to your office and do what? You get it, you're going to sleep. But this is what we see all the time. People go to restaurants, people go to functions, and they pile their plate up. You know you're not going to eat all that food, so why pile it up? But you must remember one thing. Buffet means you can go there back time and time again. It's eat as much as you like, but eat it sequentially. Talking about starters, main meal and dessert.